Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 Now update. Tonight we're getting our first look at the shooting that put a Greeley police officer in the hospital. He was tracking a man accused of firing at cars when he got pinned down behind his patrol car and forced to withstand a barrage of bullets. That officer was fired upon more than 50 times. He was hit in his right arm. He had surgery. He's doing okay. And he was cleared of any wrongdoing for firing his weapon. That suspect retreated to a home where he took his own life. And now a quick thank you to four Denver police officers who went above and beyond last year. Katie Allen and Shelby Haskell helped a family experiencing homelessness find a place to stay. And then we have Marissa Wilcoxon. She came to the rescue and threw a birthday party for a little girl who otherwise would not have had one. And then Sergeant Greg Campbell, who helped a woman experiencing car trouble on her way to DIA and then used his own money to book her a flight because she missed hers. So outstanding work to all of those officers. RTD did not have enough operators to run the trains today, and they won't again tomorrow, and they likely won't the next day either. 15 trips were canceled on the C, D, and F lines this morning and afternoon because of the shortage. Another 16 on the E are canceled today and tomorrow because of the same thing. Well, RTD eventually would like to fix this by cutting trips, maybe even cutting routes, and we'll be watching to see if that works. Elvis Presley was a man of great appetite, and when he was playing Denver, he always had to see a certain man for a certain sandwich. And Denver 7's Jason Grenauer stopped by for a bite on what would have been the king's 85th birthday. If a king lived in Colorado, he'd live in a castle, right? Lord Almighty, I'll be my temperature rising. No. No. This king lives here, Nick's Cafe. Here's table four coming up. It's an entirely, uh, you know, different th than any other place. Small, but packed to the ceiling. Pictures of Elvis. Uh, we have Elvis memorabilia, just a total Elvis uh, collection. Because of that, Today's a big day. It's Elvis's 85th birthday today. And the connection here goes deeper than just the pictures on the wall. I knew the king of rock and roll real well. He was a friend of mine. When Nick was just a teenager. In the 70s, we had a big restaurant called the Colorado Mine Company. Came in and ate a few times, and I got to meet him, and uh, we got to be friends. That's when Nick served the king this. Peanut butter, jelly, and bacon sandwich. Known as the Fool's Gold Sandwich. He ate three pieces of the sandwich, and that's about all he could eat, and he loved it. So much so, after a night of hanging out on Elvis's personal plane. So he takes his necklace off and gives it to me. The necklace from this photo that Nick wears every day. Elvis has always been number one in my life. He even admits he has more photos of Mr. Presley than his family. I have more pictures of Elvis than anybody. But here, this man is the king. This is his castle. I love the place. Uh, place loves me. And as long as I can stay here, I'll be here. I'll be here at Nick's Cafe. With his sandwich and the icon that inspired it all. Happy birthday, Elvis Presley, of course. In Lakewood, I'm Jason Grenauer. Thank you. Denver 7. <laughs> all right, thank you very much for watching this Denver 7 Now update. Make yourself uh, download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone. It gives you breaking news and alerts anytime around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.